Hey nice people, just wanted to give you a quick update and do a tech video showing my computer and uh, the camera and how I get the videos on. I have a lot of people ask that. Now here's the view from my room at the Red Slit Inn. This is a cute little place in Vermont. I don't know if you can see the mountain. No. Um, we're in Manchester Center, mile 1646 on the AT, and it's been right over four months on the trail. Um, we've got 538 to go, so about probably a month and a week, probably. Maybe maybe two weeks. Anyway, here's the computer that I use. Um, it's the cheapest one they had at Walmart, except for I did get the one with a little more memory. I got a Hike Your Own Hike sticker on there. I appreciate that. I think Tracy sent that. Well, here's the computer. It's not much. It's kind of a small size. And what I do is I just I use it when I'm in town. And then I mail it ahead. I've been using this box for a while. And I just uh, mail it ahead. Um, it costs about $10 a week to mail it. But it lets me get online and use my own computer. The libraries just are very slow. But anyway, I'm going to show you my camera that I took a while back. A video that I took when I had two cameras. Because I broke one of them. And then I'll come back to this and show you what editing program that I use. Okay? Okay, everybody, this is kind of a unique opportunity to show you my camera. Since I just broke it and I got a brand new one exactly like it, I can video my old one. It's an Icon Coolpix L26 is the model. Um, it's got a five times optical zoom. It takes two uh, AA batteries. Yeah, the batteries last about a week, um, depending on how much you use the zoom and how much you use the flash. Also at night, I really like to sit in my hammock and uh, look through the day's pictures and videos and uh, delete a couple here and there and just just watch them over. So that takes battery also. So I usually take one pair of batteries in the camera and then one extra pair so it doesn't run out. And uh, I put a little SIM card in there, a little uh, memory card in there. But the more video you take, the less pictures it can hold. So this is what I've been using the whole time. Uh, it's real simple, real basic. I really like it. Um, the sound went out on the camera itself, you know, after 500 miles or whatever. Um, but it still worked fine when you download them. It fits perfect in my little pocket of my uh, backpack, my little side pocket. But it's about 100 bucks at Walmart, and it worked pretty good till I dropped it. I dropped it several times, so I can't complain at all. Well, that's what it looks okay, like. Okay, through the magic of television or whatever. We're back, and you saw the camera. Just a basic deal. Um, I keep my little... This is the USB cord that I use to hook it up to. And I just mail this along with the computer. I don't carry that. And I don't carry the computer. The computer deal, I didn't plan to do that. I was just going to uh, use the hotels or hostels and stuff like that. But at the beginning of the trip, none of the hostels had computers that worked. And if they did, there was always somebody waiting. And there was always another one that... Someone else wanted to use the computer, and I didn't want to hold them up, and I didn't want to uh, have to rush. So I just bought the computer on the trail, and then I used this little logo right here to find my edit program. And it's Windows Live Movie Maker, and if you need to, you can punch it in in this little thing, and it'll, it'll bring it up. But I've already got it ready for you. Here's what it looks like, and the glare is so bad, it's just not showing. I'm trying to show you, but that's what it looks like. And... It works pretty good. It's real basic. But once you figure it out, you can max it out and uh, use it. It does stuff. You can add music to it, which I wanted to do. But I didn't want any of my videos to have ads on them. So I didn't add any music. Um, you can add titles, captions. You can slow it up and for slow motion or speed it up. Um, you can add the fadeaways and all that good stuff. So Windows Live Movie Maker is what I use. On the trail. It usually takes me probably 30 or 40 minutes, maybe an hour to edit a video, each one. And then another 30 minutes, 20 minutes probably to render it. And then I go over to YouTube and depending on the connection at the hotel that I'm using, um, between 30 minutes and probably a couple hours to download it. And I have stayed up all night doing it several times. But I enjoy doing it, I like doing it, and I like answering all the comments and reading the questions and answering those so I don't mind at all and I enjoy the editing part I enjoy the videoing part and I enjoy you know 
everything. I enjoy watching them again. So, I wish this was a better video. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a tech guy, so I tried my best. And I posted a few videos tonight, and I want to post one more video before I leave town um, about some gifts that I've gotten. Um, I'm waiting on a, a couple more packages, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to. So I want to add those to that video as well. So hopefully I can get that on tomorrow before I leave town. If not, it'll be in the next installment. And uh, just know that I got them, and I appreciate everybody. Uh, it's meant a lot. All right, I hope that answers some questions. <laughs> I wish that was a little bit better, a better video for you, but that's how I do it.